Today I'm going to make a belt that I call the Western. It's got uh, white stitching in the middle. It's got uh, faux turquoise spots with black stitching along the edge. Uh, I make it with the engraved buckle or with a standard buckle. And with the engraved buckle, you can also do engraved loop and a tip. But this one, as you can see, is not that style. So I've got to start a belt today. I'm going to make a uh, Western. It'll be black when I'm done. I'm going to use this piece of uh, about nine ounce leather. I've got the strap cutter. I set it to the width that I want. I'm going to cut a scrap here so that I can check and make sure that it's set right for what I want. And I'm, I'm slightly less than an inch and a quarter on this because the buckle I'm using takes slightly less than an inch and a quarter. You have to check that because a lot of times the buckle will say the size, but it actually won't be the exact size of what it is. This one's a black belt, so I'll run it through the die. And then I'll wipe off the excess. Once I've located where the buckle is going to go on the belt, then I will cut the slot for that. And then that will show where the fold back is for the belt, for the buckle. Once I've got the belt blank cut roughly to length and I have cut the end for the buckle, I'm going to locate the center of the wearer's belt which is halfway between the buckle and the notch they'll use on the belt. This is 31, so it'll be 15 and a half. Once I have done that, then I'm going to set the calipers to a little bit less than center to create the spacing between the stitch lines. No, right, that's the spacing that I'm looking for. Okay. Once, I've, once I've laid out my spots for my design, I will lightly scribe lines here for me to chisel in for the stitching. Once I've got the design laid out on the belt, I'll use my stitching chisel to create the holes that my center white stitching will follow. And once again, I'm doing this through just the top layer of leather and not the lining. That way, the back of the belt has a neater, cleaner look to it. Once I have this first side done, I want these stitches to line up. So I will use a square up against the chisel in the, those holes, and then go to the next side and do the same thing. That way, my holes line up from one side of the belt to the next. Now that I've Got the holes done. I'm going to make holes to put the spots, the turquoise spots in. Next, I'm gonna do the white stitching. I've got a length of thread I need for the project cut and, and two needles. And this is called a saddle stitch. 
the stitching pony does a good job of holding the work while I put the stitching in. I apply two coats of glue to both strips of leather so that I get a good contact and adhesion. Once I have them laminated together, then I'll use a, a hammer and gently tap down, gently tap down the edges so they make good contact. Once I've got the belt uh, layered up, glued together, then I will trim the lining to match the width of the finished belt. Next, I'm going to trim the lining using the round end punch so that it matches the belt. And on the other end, I will use the English point. Next, I'm going to use this inch and a quarter English point centered on the belt and cut this belt to length. This step here is going to be to put a groove that my stitching will follow on the front of the belt. And it also helps to lower the stitches below where it doesn't wear as quickly. I'm going to use this uh, Ron's Tools number three edger and I'm going to remove this sharp edge the length of the belt making it much comfortable wear. This is a Weaver five millimeter diamond chisel set. They're not terribly expensive and I've made more than 100 projects with this set, so it works fine for me. I create these holes to do the hand stitching in. It'll be a saddle stitch. I do this the length of the belt, and it does come in single hole, double hole, four, and this is six. So if you've got a curve, you may use the single or the double. Once the edges are sanded smooth, I will burnish the edges. And for me, a piece of denim works really well for this. It takes it from that rough, porous look to a smooth, finished edge. And you can probably see in the light there that it's nice and shiny. This black belt, I'm going to seal it and I'll do this uh, at several points during the process to get it well sealed. Uh, I'm using this product here and I'll just put a little bit on with a sponge applicator. And I get the, the front, the back, and the edges especially. That seems to be where you get the most color rub off is from the edges. It does darken up this slider color. Uh, some of that darkness goes away though when it dries.
spend a little more time on this first coat because it soaks up a lot more on this first coat than it will on the next coats. So this stitching that I'm doing along the side of the belt is called saddle stitching. I use a piece of thread that is four times the length of the belt uh, because you use up quite a bit of thread through uh, the process of going back and forth from one side to the next. The um, thread I'm using is a waxed polyester called Tiger Ritza. So the process takes a little bit of time. I'll spend uh, on this particular Western belt about five or six hours just in the stitching, let alone the assembly of the belt. But I think it gives a nice look and finish to the belt to have that that way. This belt will have about 40 feet of thread in it by the time I'm done. Once I've got the stitching done along the sides, then I'm going to take a hammer and I'm going to lightly tap in the threads to set them even or below the surface of the leather and that'll help them to wear longer so they don't wear out. So uh, I've said that I've put multiple coats of the sealer on there. It's been about eight hours since we put the last sealer on. So I'm gonna put another coat of sealer on there. I usually shoot for three to four times of putting sealer on the belt. And it takes time between those so that the sealer actually locks in the color that's there. Now I'll make the holes for the buckle fasten into so next I'll install the buckle Now I've got the belt done, I will package it up and get it sent off to its new home.